Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. I've been searching for a truly wireless and portable camera system uh, for the RV for a while now because I want to use it in multiple situations and I finally found one in Halo View. Now, if you watch any YouTube RV channels, you know Halo View has really stepped up their game the past few years. They make a pretty top quality RV camera backup system. But this can be used not only as a backup system, but for multiple uses. Uh, and it really is truly wireless. It is for the uh, very challenged DIYer. So let's open up the box and see what's in it. So I have it all unpacked and it really comes with everything you need. You're not gonna need anything other than what's included in this kit. It comes with a couple instruction manuals. It comes with a huge seven inch monitor with a couple quick buttons and a button to enter the menu schedule in here. It comes with the power cord for the monitor and that just goes into your vehicles like cigarette adapter and we'll plug into the monitor to power that up. And two mounting options for the monitor which is a metal U-shaped bracket if you want to mount it permanently and it comes with if you want to just mount it to your windshield, a windshield mount. And this is actually pretty good quality. The bracket here is all made of metal, so if you crank it down, you're not going to crack, crack this like uh, some of the plastic ones. It comes with two antennas, uh, one for the monitor and one for the camera. And finally, it comes with this completely wireless battery-operated camera. And there's a button on the front to turn it on and off. And if you press the button, there's blue lights here, and uh, there's four. So four would be fully charged, one would be less than 25%, and if it's flashing, it needs to be recharged. And the camera has a simple charging port on the side where you can charge it with the included charger. And what's unique about this is it's got a magnet on the bottom and the back, and if you have, say, a fiberglass RV and it won't, it's not magnetized, they include these two metal plates with 3M adhesive on the back. So you can just stick this to the RV and then the camera will stick to this plate. And it's actually pretty strong. Um, so that's it. Oh, it also comes with a uh, sunshade for the monitor if you need it. So let's go set this up and see how good it looks. So you can actually mount this anywhere. I'm going to mostly use it on my toad at the back. And I'm just going to stick it right on there. And now I'll be able to see what's behind me because my RV camera points more down when the toad's connected. Uh, I would show you the RV, but if you take a look over there, Yes, it's covered in a lot of snow. We got about 35 inches here. So I'm not gonna do anything in the RV today. I'm just gonna use it in my toad. We'll test it out. I'm gonna actually put this on the front so you'll be able to see the trees there and stuff. And we'll take a look at it. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on here like this, but I was just thinking, you know, if you're a, a rock crawler and you, you wanna have a camera in the front of the Jeep when you're rock crawling, you could just stick it to the Jeep. And now you can see the obstacles way down low. But we're going to just stick it here for now. And let's go in a Jeep, see what it looks like. So I have this set up in my Jeep and the camera's pointing forward. It is a very gray, dingy day out. It's supposed to snow again, if you can believe it. But this has the capability for four cameras. It comes with one, but you can add three additional ones. And if you want to move from camera to camera, you can press the select button. And you can also, and I'll show you in the settings, you can change it so you can see all four at once or just two at once. Um, but let's go into the menu. And you can see the first one's volume. If you press that, you can adjust the volume or mute it. You can go to picture. And again, you can do brightness, contrast, and the color. You can mirror the image any way you like. And here is the uh, Q mode I was talking about. You can split cameras one and two, one and three, and, and there's multiple different uh, options here. Settings, you can change the time, select a certain camera. Uh, the type of video NTSC will always be 
uh, United States and auto dim if you'd like it. And then if we go to park lines, you can actually add parking lines if you'd like to. Uh, again, you can add the parking line and then you can adjust the parking line however you like, uh, you know, to get it zeroed in. Actually, let's let's put that on. Let's and there's the park lines. And again, you can adjust them up, down uh, to zero them in right right to the right to the exact footage. So the last thing I wanted to show you is the night vision on this. So it's completely dark out right now. I have my headlights on, and I'm going to turn my headlights off. And you could see if I'm looking at the windshield in real time and it's completely black. I cannot see. But the night vision on the camera does pretty well. I can see the driveway. I can see the snow mounds. So the night vision works very, very well on this. And in addition, I, don't, I didn't mention it before, but this actually has a micro SD card slot. So you can, uh, it's not included, but you can purchase a micro SD card put it in the monitor and record everything you're viewing. So, uh, you know, that's a, a bonus too. And you can play it right back on this screen or put it in a computer and play it. The only thing I wish this had is on the screen. If you look in the upper left hand corner, it tells you the reception it is getting from the remote camera. I wish it also told you the battery level of the remote camera. That would be a plus. Not that it's anything bad, but uh, if I had anything bad to say about it, that that's one thing I would improve on it. I would have the battery level uh, also show on the monitor. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I couldn't be more pleased. The picture quality is amazing, and it's very easy to navigate. I'm going to do a blog article on my website. I will leave the entire user manual in PDF form so you can check it out uh, and see what features it has. Uh, but I'm going to use this, like I said, in the back of my toad for when I'm towing. I'm also going to stick it to the side of my RV for a security cam if I'm overnighting in a parking lot or something. The, the uses are endless, uh, but I couldn't be more pleased with the picture quality and how easy it is to operate. But as always, I appreciate you watching, and I will catch you on the next video.